Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Conversations podcast. And in today's episode, we will be discussing the video games industry. Some people feel like it's not what it used to be. So we're going to ask the big question, why has the video games industry fallen off? Let's start by saying this. The video game industry is still huge and there are tons of people who love gaming. But for those, a lot of gamers something feels different. Gamers aren't as excited or having as much fun as they used to and this is a question of why is that? Well there are many reasons for this problem. First off, let's talk about the games themselves. Back in the day, games came out out finished. When you bought the game, you had the whole thing. But now a lot of games are released unfinished or full of bugs. And then the company is trying to fix them. Later with updates, some games even make you pay extra for downloadable content. It's called a DLC. That should have been part of that shouldn't have been part of the game in the first place. This is a huge turnover for gamers who just want a full fun experience from day one. Then one big issue is unfinished games. In the past, when games were released, it was pretty much ready to go. Nowadays, a lot of gamers get uh, released get released games before they've even been fully finished. Developers rush to put out these games with bugs, glitches, and missing content. It leaves gamers feeling frustrated and angry, like they've been paying for something that's a broken product. Another problem is microtransactions, paying with your credit card. Have you ever bought a game and then then you realized you have been spending more money just to unlock cool features or extra levels well that's a big co- uh, problem in the gaming world right now instead of just buying a game once companies want you to keep spending more money and more in the game purchases it feels like a cash grab and it's it's a talk it's taking the fun out of gaming for a lot of people and this is something that is a shame because you can see in today's generation especially when it came to the streaming services instead of paying once for a streaming service and then you know every single month you get new content every single month you pay each month for example you pay ten dollars every month just to watch a streaming service full of their content instead of paying once for the streaming service and getting content and then every month it refreshes with something new something different and then you can enjoy the content it's always the same thing for a gaming company trying to release a new game for example let's say rainbow six siege anyone who plays the game or who watched youtubers or streamers playing the game you would know in that game there are a bunch of microtransactions where you can pay for Uh, points to get uh, in-game currency to get you know a bunch of cool skins accessories and a bunch of other items from within the game and this is something not for only the people who get Rainbow Six Siege or get any other games this is something that the gaming industry are trying to take advantage of people by telling them look if we give you these nice good-looking stuff inside of our games we can tell you that if you spend a small amount of your money from what you have saved up or work for you can get all these nice stuff because they know like once someone pays for the game once they're not going to get any income so they're trying to do anything just to try to have you know mental and physical manipulation they're trying to manipulate you trying to use psychology on you just to make you feel convinced or persuaded in some way shape or form to spend more money in the game even though you don't need to just in order for them to be like ah we have money in our pockets think about it it's when fortnite came it's a free a free to play game everyone can download it for free and play and have a good time but the people who own the game are developing the game are wanting to get money because they know even though it's a free game they still want to make an income so they try to tell you look we have skins pickaxes gliders and a bunch of other accessories like dance moves and other stuff just for you to get and have a good time by wearing these 
cool costumes and having a good time with this character and playing around that game with your friend. So they're trying to just use psychology or cross manipulation to try to make you feel convinced even though you probably don't need it they'll make you feel like you want it even though it's not needed think about this in your own way as we go further with this story then now let's talk about creativity some gamers feel like a lot of new games aren't as original as they used to be we keep seeing the same ga- type of games over and over again sequels remakes or games that are just copies of each other it feels like games game developers are playing it safe instead of taking risks trying new things this can make the industry feel stale which is true because of how much very few original makes of the game they've seen they just keep repeating and remaking and doing like a remake of this game or a recreation of this original game from back in you know 2010 or 2001 back in present day you can see the you know stale taste in everyone's mouth trying to feel like they're obligated to make more money it shows like today they have very few original content in their heads to make good games another fact is aaa games The big budget games from huge studios, these games often take years to develop and become, because they're so expensive to make, companies don't want to take changes. They stick to what they feel like sells, which sometimes leads to less um, individuals buying the game. Finally, let's talk about the risk of mobile games. Mobile gaming has blown up in the last decade, and while that's great for casual gamers, it changed the industry. Mobile gamers. Mobile games are often free to play, but packed with ads and microtransactions. This shift has led some companies to focus more on mobile games because it's more profitable leaving hardcore gamers feeling left behind so has this so has the video games industry really fallen off well it's not gone but things have definitely changed unfinished games microtransactions a lack of creativity and focus on mobile gaming have all played a role in how gamers feel about the industry today The good news is there are still amazing indie games and dedicated developers who are keeping the spirit of gaming alive. And for me, I want to say something. I don't have the passion or the motivation to go on my PlayStation or my Xbox and start playing games. Instead, I just got a Nintendo Switch, got a few games, and I'm just playing on the Nintendo Switch because it's a bunch of fun games. It's nice retro games. You're not going to get bored of them. You're not going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm bored. Let me just do something or if you know i'm running out of stuff you know on the nintendo switch you have an opportunity to play multiple nice sick games and you won't get bored of them you'll have a good time have fun and not really feel like you're forced into getting a bunch of games and just being bored of them very very quickly because think about it back in the day you had like good call of duty games whether it's black ops modern warfare or even a bunch of original call of duty series uh series that they make and it's such a shame like those days are behind us and even when it comes to other shooter games or like uh, original ubisoft games or any type of games it's all gone i feel like after fortnite came out everything changed in the mu- uh, music in the gaming industry a lot of perspectives and heads and ideas completely turned and everything's become more different and more stale and it's a shame to see once a thriving industry becoming more and more you know lack of sales lack of originality no one's playing the games no one's doing anything and you see less people playing games on youtube you see less people playing games on twitch and everyone's just struggling to make video games content everything's just stuck i'm telling you once gta 6 comes out everyone's gonna be like holy crap gta is out and everyone's just gonna milk the content out of gta so quickly i'm telling you under a month it's going to be so boring to watch. No one's going to watch the games on YouTube. No one's going to play the game. Like, I 
kept the PlayStation and everything, probably for like the GTA stuff, maybe. But for now, I'm not really going to do that. I'm just going to sell the consoles, get a bit of money back and just leave it to one side. But I'm not going to be interested. I might watch uh, some YouTubers play some GTA 6 and see what the game content of it's like. But I'm not really going to be a hardcore game of GTA or any other game, to be honest, on the PlayStation or the Xbox. It's all going to require some sort of subscription and I'm not really here for it. But other than that, thank you all so much for listening to today's podcast. Make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section and I will leave you all and see you on the next episode. Goodbye.